So let's start with an empty project. Give it a name. I must have command. And this is me. Hi. Okay, window size of 800 by 600. And just copy and paste the settings into the layout. Create the background layer and set it to a black solid color. Create additional layers for the gameplay and user interface. Now let's start creating our turrets. Add a sprite object, name it turret, and we'll be importing two frames, one loaded and one empty. Adjust the origin points and set them to zero degrees angle. And remember to set the animation speed to zero, so our frames don't cycle. In the view, rotate them to face up. And place three of them at the bottom of the screen. Now create the cities and place six of them. I'm using here the align options because I'm a little obsessive with that, but you can just eyeball them. And here's a little trick. You can select some of your cities and in their width set it to negative so they will flip. Let's create the first interface object, which is the base of the turret. You will see why we are not using just a whole image by the end of the project. Remember to set the animation speed to zero. By the way, I'm creating different objects for almost everything because it's easier, and this is a small game. You can check the Frogger series to see how to pick objects by values. Now create an ammo sprite, and place 10 of them below each turret. They represent the missiles left for us. And now add a crosser to indicate the turrets where to fire the missiles. Now select the turrets and create two instance variables. The first one order, which is a text, a text variable, and ammo, 
which is a numeric variable set to 10. Now give the turrets the order values left, middle and right, so we can differentiate them. For the ammo, create the variables order, which is text, and index, which will be a number variable. Select them and give it and give them the same order, left, middle, and right. And for the index, select each one and set it from 1 to 10. The order here is not critical, but be sure not to repeat the same index inside the same group. You have 10 ammo and you have and you have to have 1 from 1 to 10. In the group in the middle, we'll be changing the indexes in a different way. This is just a visual detail to the game. It's not really important. Okay, now add a keyboard object so we can fire the missiles and a mouse object to control the crosser. In the code, create an on the start of layout, set the crosser to the mouse X and Y position. Also, set the mouse cursor style to None. Then on every tick, we need, to, we need the crosser to follow the mouse X position. But throw in a bound to layout behavior so the crosser never leaves the screen. Do the same with the Y position. And all is working, but we are not supposed to aim to our own cities, so let's fix that. Create a sub-event and check for the mouse Y position. You can see in this area the mouse coordinates. So about here is about so about here is like 470. And if the mouse Y is lower than 470, only then set the crosser to follow the mouse Y. Now it's much better. <laughs> 